so happy to see you again. Uh, yeah. So, we're down to number three. and Technically, I guess he's number one in his best friendliness because he is a guy. And, you know, you can only have, like, one truly best guy friend. And for me, I would have to say that is Luke, even though we don't talk anymore. Like, if I were to go hang out with him, of course, we would talk. But we don't talk on a daily basis because our lives are a lot different than they used to be. And how I met Luke was in my 10th grade biology class. I also met him in Sagertown. And I kind of became closer friends with him because of Brianna, I guess. Sort of. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of our friends are weird, but... Uh, I don't know if what I used to consider our friends still consider me that. I hope they do. Um, and distance shouldn't really define if you're still friends with someone. Yeah, I met him in 10th grade biology class. I ended up having to sit by him at one point, and he scared the crap out of me because he decided not to talk for a week just to scare everyone, and I really thought it was my fault for some reason. I don't know why, but he was just testing people to see if they would, like, think he was mentally ill or something. I don't know. It was, like, the weirdest thing ever, and I was very concerned for him. He was also in my math class, which was, um, I think it was algebra or pre -all. I don't remember. He... No, it was algebra. Yes, because then we took geometry together next year. Woohoo! Shapes! No. He was also in my history class, and it was, oh my gosh, that was the worst history class ever uh, to begin with. What other class did I have with him? I had biology, I had algebra, and I had history. We didn't start, like, eating lunch together until late. 10th grade, most of 11th, kinda. He, he jumped back and forth between tables, which kind of irritated me. <sighs> I don't know why. <laughs> it was just stupid. How our friends quarreled, and they were like, Oh my god, drama, drama, drama. I'm a drama llama. Drama llama. Ah! You're still here? Okay. Well, one of... Actually, I'm gonna say a couple of memories for him, because being number one best guy friend. I think he deserves a few memories. Uh, so yeah, he was also at my 17th birthday party, which was whoosh, two years ago. Almost three. So I'm gonna be 20 this year. Well, one I guess would be when I did a surprise attack on my friends and went to prom in the 11th grade. Whoa! So we went on this like really crazy fast track prom extravaganza to get everything together and then when we finally got to Luke's house his mom's like you're going alone you're going alone you go together <laughs> and we're just like okay that's fine I guess it was still good a great prom memory I guess but uh, yeah that was weird. Okay, it wasn't that weird. I don't think I have any other uh, decent, appropriate memories. But let's just say that me and Luke know a lot about each other. And as far as guys go anyway, that's probably a lot more than any guy should know. <laughs> and he, he probably feels the same way. He's like, why did you tell me this crap? It's branded into my brain. Oh, here's a decent memory. Um, yeah, I was in 11th grade, and Luke organized this, like, trip to go to the movies together. And we all wanted to see Alice in Wonderland, but it was only showing in 3D, and we didn't feel like paying that much to see it in 3D. So we ended up just going seeing the, um, uh, what was it called? Oh, crap. I don't remember the name of the movie. Um... Shit. Let me think. It was kind of like The Happening. If you know what The Happening was. But it's that people weren't killing 
themselves. They were killing other people because of the water supply and the whole like plane with like the test wipe out a population thing in it. Yeah, that movie. And it was awesome because right before the explosion, Elliot was all like, I knew it! <laughs> But yeah, that was a really awesome night. We went to the movies and we smuggled in candy and we destroyed the front row. <laughs> went to open, I think it was Skittles. Yeah, it was like Skittles or something. And I went to open the bag and went, <laughs> and I'm like, oh god. But that was a good night. It was like a bunch of us. It was like, okay, it was me, Nick, Steph, Elliot. Luke, Courtney, and he who sh shall not be named. I, there might have been someone else, but I don't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, but as far as Luke goes, he's definitely my very best guy friend. And even though we don't talk anymore, which kind of makes me really sad because we used to have like the best conversations ever, or the weirdest ones, whatever. Um. You know, we're still, in my eyes anyway, we're still best friends. Well, he's still my best guy friend. I don't think anyone else is going to replace him because that would take too long <laughs> to tell him everything that he knows. So, <laughs> and uh, I think I have put Luke through enough hell to know that, you know, he's, you know, he's still talking to me, kind of. But I just wish we could talk more. Sadly, we can't. So, there you have it, my three best friends, Ashley Cadillac, Brianna, Brad Townsway, and Luke. So, uh, yeah, get out of here. You don't need to know any more about me. Go away! <laughs> Till next time, you do goodbye! I'm weird.